Today I'm checking out this app-enabled 20-quart bodega portable car fridge that you can take on road trips, camping, construction sites, or even keep in your workshop or garage. With adjustable temperature control and variety of accepted power sources, your food and drinks can always stay at a perfect temperature. And now let's check out the specs and answer some of the questions you might have. All right, so let's see what comes in the box and how big the fridge is itself. So of course you get the refrigerator freezer itself, then you get a little box inside that's gonna have a couple of basically power sources. This is our 12 and 24 volt power source that you plug into the vehicle or like a power bank. You also have your standard 120 volt power adapter. So you just plug that into a regular outlet in the house and you have the user manual. So this goes through a few steps on how to set it up, how to connect the app, because this is app enabled and uh, what some of the features are, some of the dimensions and things like that. And of course, speaking of the dimensions, let's see how big the actual fridge is. So this is going to be about 22 inches long, about 13 inches deep and about 11 inches high. So how big is the compartment inside where you actually store food? So it's going to be about eight and a half inches deep, 10 inches wide, and the bigger compartment is about 13 and a half inches long. You, of course, have a second load compartment right here, which is uh, only about uh, three inches deep. So I would say it utilizes the space pretty well. Uh, it also weighs about 26.6 pounds and the fridge capacity is 20 quarts or about 18 liters. Being about 26 pounds, uh, it can get heavy once you fill it with food and drinks. So you do have a couple of handles on the sides here so you can easily lift it with two hands or with two people if necessary. The next question for me was, what can it run off of and how much power does it use? Well, luckily it can run off of basically almost anything. So you can use your 110 to 250 volt uh, power adapter. Of course, you're gonna need some adapters if it's 250. It's realistically made for 110 in a US uh, socket. Uh, it can also run off of uh, 12 volt and 24 volt, so you can plug this into your car or like a 18 wheeler, so like a big truck. And since you have the AC adapter, you can pre-cool this at home and then use it in the car or with a portable power bank after. So it'll be already cooled down and the compressor doesn't have to run as much, so you can put it on a power bank and it'll power it for a very, very long time. This way the compressor only has to hold the temperature once it's unlimited power supply. The rated power input on this is 60 watts and the rated current on AC is 1.5 amps to 2.7 amps. On DC, it's gonna be six amps at 12 volts and three amps at 24 volts. So you wanna make sure that whatever you're plugging this into has enough current to provide. But what I wanna do now is see how much power it actually uses. Well, I can only measure in AC, so I'm gonna to have to do that, but it'll give us a chance to kind of figure that out. So we have a kilowatt that's just plugged in right here, and I'm gonna to switch to watts. And as you can see at the moment, it's only, used, well, it's basically not using anything, but if I'm gonna turn it on, and lower the temperature to negative four degrees, basically use it as a freezer. And at this time it's using about 41 watts of power. All right, so let's look at the control panel on this unit. At the top you have the LCD that shows you the current temperature inside the unit, which is 76 degrees Fahrenheit. You have your battery voltage. So if you plug this into the car, you will see what the voltage of the battery is. You also have max and eco, so you can switch between uh, the different uh, efficiency basically or how hard the compressor is working at the moment we're at max you can switch it to eco and it's going to use less energy but take longer to you know get down to that temperature you also have h m and l these are the battery protection settings so at the moment it's at high which means it will shut itself off at a higher voltage i'll put the voltages on the screen so you can see the differences between those but you want to set that based on kind of how big your battery is how old your battery is and a few other factors as well so looking at the button here, we have your on and off button. You have your uh, little settings button. So if you press that, it goes from max to eco, so you can adjust that. Lower down, you have your plus and minus, so you can adjust the temperature. You can set it to basically between negative six and I believe 68 degrees. So let's say we set it to five. So we're gonna, we want the fridge to be at five degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, and then if you press and hold for three seconds, the uh, the settings button this will go into your battery protection mode and it will let you or the settings for the battery protection mode and let you adjust between high medium and low i'll just keep it at high and of course you can hold the lock button for three seconds and it will lock uh, the button so you don't accidentally 
uh, change the settings. And here at the bottom we have a port for charging your phone. And next I wanted to see how long does it take to cool down to 32 Fahrenheit which is freezing so basically zero Celsius. Uh, at the moment it is at 69 degrees inside the fridge. It is about 90, 87 here in the trunk of my car. So it should be a pretty good test. At the same time we'll see what the wattage use is. At the moment it's using 0.6 of a watt for consumption and I have the little LED running in the fridge right there. So I'm gonna close it right here, power it on. Okay, now we're gonna set it to 32. I'm gonna go 32. Now we're at 32 Fahrenheit. We are at max cooling. We are using 53 watts since we're cooling we're on max cooling, so let's see how long does it take. And of course, if your car has a constant 12 volt power in the back, like a lot of SUVs do, you can keep this plugged in when you're not in the car and keep your food and drinks cold for a very long time. The built-in battery protection feature will cut off the power to the unit at a predefined voltage, making sure you can start the car. And if you use it on a switchable power plug, it will of course remember the previous settings and resume the previously set temperature. So there is no need to manually turn it on and off each time. This brings me to the app. Yes, this smart fridge actually has an app that connects to your phone. It might sound like a gimmick at first, but it's actually very useful and luckily this app is very easy to use. It uses Bluetooth and automatically connects to the fridge once you are in the app. You can monitor and change the temperature and all other settings without having to be right next to it. So far I've used to cool down my drinks before working on projects in my garage. So convenient. All right guys, so as you can see it took about 17 and a half minutes to go from very very hot which is like I mentioned earlier was about 90 80 something degrees in here to 32 degrees or it shows 30 at the moment inside the cooler so that's very impressive let's double check the temperature inside and see if it's actually accurate all right showing 34 36 37 depending where I'm pointing so definitely 32 there you go so definitely in the range and now let's see what we can fit inside this cooler so I'm going to open it up not keep it open for too long because I want it to stay cool I'm just going to put my water bottles in there so you can stand them up looks like very easily oh it feels nice and chilly in there so I just put 15 bottles of water in here and there's definitely enough room to put another row in so you can definitely do 20 bottles of water just in this cooler with some space to spare. Next I'm going to get some frozen stuff and see how much of that I can fit in here as well. So maybe you don't need 20 bottles of water. What else can you fit in there? So let's take some of this water out. You can put some hamburger patties, frozen fruit, sorbets, ginger beer. Put one over there, why not? And done, now you're ready to go barbecuing. Plenty of space here, I love it. And as you can see, my car is not running, but it's now powered by the 12 volt plug in the trunk, as this is a always on plug in this car. The next question is, is it loud? And the answer is, no, uh, you can barely hear the compressor at a you know couple feet distance. I mean, it sounds kind of like a very small fan running in your computer uh, at most. Uh, they say it's about 42 decibels max on this unit, so very nice. If you're driving the car, you will definitely not hear it. With all of that said, I wanted to also test how well it keeps insulated. So earlier I unplugged it for a couple of hours and it basically stayed uh, it only lost a couple of degrees inside and you did not feel any draft or cold air coming out of the unit. So that's pretty cool. Uh, overall, I'm very impressed with this unit. It's small enough to fit into almost any car, but big enough on the inside to be useful. I also like the smart controls and low energy consumption. I will be keeping this in my garage as a drinks cooler in between road trips. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And if you'd like to get one for yourself, I will have an affiliated link in the description under the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.